Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next installment of NDW Live the Reboot here on Twitch on Brockster Builds. Tonight, we will be playing Champions of the Galaxy by Phil Singer Games. You can check them out at philsingergames.com. They have a lot of new releases that just came out this week, including a deathmatch set, which looks really cool. I got the handbook for it today, and I think next week we'll start using the deathmatch rules. I think we'll we'll get there with a certain feud. Also, they have a new legend set, and the Promoter Prime cards are supposed to be shipping out later this week as well. So, go there and check out this game if you're interested. For tonight's game, though, we will be using the character, the fan created characters of Next Dimension Wrestling. Uh, you can find that information at brockstercomicscom slash NDW cards. All the Characters that are there for purchase and all that fun stuff. So check that out. There's all the character bios uh, Download all the handbooks for the character descriptions. Everything's there um, An update on our sub count We are currently at 35 followers. We hit our goal last week of 35 to unlock the Bruce card He's now available on that website. I just mentioned also, our next goal is a Bed of Roses match if we hit 45 followers. Once we hit 45 followers, I'll send the link out here on the stream, and you can download that and use that in your feds. Let's take a look at the rankings for the month of August. Our champion is Lambert. Our number one contender is Eagle Richards, followed by Ginger Rogers. Former champion Jet Black moves all the way down to number three, so he's going to have to work his way back up the rankings after the stipulation in last month's match. Roger Ring Royalty is at number four, and then Falcon Parker. Navy Blue at number six. Buck Blake stays at number seven. Beordi enters the top ten finally at number eight. Die Smash is at number nine. She's going to be out for the month of August due to an injury suffered at the hands of headhunter Travis Deadly. And finally, Pete Cottontail stays at number 10. Speaking of Die Smash, here is the inactive list for this week. Die Smash is going to miss the entire month of August. She is out for five weeks due to a concussion at the hands of Travis Deadly in his controversial head trauma finishing maneuver. Here are the touring rosters for the month. The European tour features the Knights of the Round Table, Eagle Richards, Falcon Parker, Roger Ring Royalty, and Ginger Rogers. The Black and Blue Crew, Jet Black, Navy Blue, Ulog, and the Dimensional Champion Lambert. And Holiday Horror, Pete Cottontail, Murky Waters, Lycan Moon, and Halloween Hank. Well, they will be touring Germany this month, which should be interesting. And over in the United States in the North American tour, they'll be touring the Baltimore, Maryland area. With B. Ordy, Captain Adam Space Pirate, Hen Hutter Travis Deadly, John Heal will be making his in-ring debut. Lance Romance, Buck Blake, B.A. Jerk, Rick Flareon is officially on the roster for this month, Social Butterfly, Die Smash will miss the tour, and a newcomer, Pit Viper, will debut later this month. Alright, so the chat is already calling for Troy Boy. We'll get to him a little later, but first, let's get into Night One's action. Our first match will be Navy Blue versus Falcon Parker. Halloween Hank takes on Raja Ring Royalty. Ginger Rogers will be battling Pete Cottontail. And Eagle Richards will take on Murky Waters. And let's not forget that tonight, all the Friday night matches, we will be using the um, vintage charts that were available in the 
Legends 7 expansion pack. So if you haven't picked that up yet, go ahead and pick it up. The The new charts really add a lot to the game and make things a little different. So the, uh, the Friday night shows are going for a more traditional wrestling feel. And then on our Saturday night scrap shows, we're going for more of a sports entertainment, if you will. But with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into the action with our first match. Navy Blue versus Falcon Parker. <clears throat> all right, let's go ahead and get started. Ruling for initiative. Falcon Parker gets initiative. Starts with a back elbow one. Dazed one. Pele kick three. Down three. Navy Blue will leave the ring. He's got a four B on the out of the ring chart. Move those over here. As the opponent barrels into the ropes, you both fall from the ring. You shift your weight and land on top of the opponent. Your opponent is stunned. Opponent rolls count out. If there is no count out, you and your opponent get back into the ring. Roll on level three offense. All right, so Falcon Parker may be counted out here. Let's go ahead and roll his pin. He is not counted out, so let's add a fatigue. And Navy Blue will go on level three offense. Shoulder breaker three. Hurt two. Into the turnbuckle, a choice to roll up. Uh, his turnbuckle rating is C, so we'll go ahead and do that. 7C on into the turnbuckle. Your opponent backs out of the corner and you rush towards them. They use your momentum to deliver an overhead suplex and throw you across the ring. Opponent rolls on level 3 offense. Death jump and a choice to roll up. We'll roll up on 2. Inverted neck breaker, choice C. Uh, we'll go for the Duck Under Takedown 3. We'll work on an 8 or less. Right? Nope. Nope, sorry. That's the Front Chancery 2. We'll work on an 8 or less. He gets it. Should have went for the better move. Level 2. Falcon Parker 1. Hip Toss 1. Dazed 1. Inverted Head Slam 2 Power. The power advantage goes to Navy Blue, so he counters on level 2 offense. Into the Turnbuckle. We'll go for that with that C rating. 7C again, so that was that suplex out of the corner on to level 3 offense. Shoulder Breaker 3. Down 3. Falcon Parker will leave the ring. 9. 9B nine on Out of the Ring. You fall out of the ring and land awkwardly, twisting your ankle on the floor. You crawl back into the ring. Add one to your pin rating. Opponent rules on level three offense. All right, so Navy Blue is on three. Running boot to the face, two. Down three. Shoulder breaker, three. Hurt, two. Back elbow smash, two. Falcon Parker, one. Inverted head slam two, but power. Power goes to navy blue. I'll take over on two. From the depths three. Down three. Falcon will leave. Four B on out of the ring. As you barrel towards as your as the opponent barrels you into the ropes, you both fall from the ring. You shift your weight and land on top of the opponent. Your opponent is stunned. Opponent rolls count out. Alright, so navy blue can be counted out now. No count out, so now Falcon Parker is on level three. Peregrine Plancha three. Pin. Need a three or better to get out of that. He does. Add another fatigue. Falcon Parker's on three again. And there it is, the Falcon Arrow plus three. So he'll need a seven or better to kick out. Which he does not do. So Falcon Parker wins with the Falcon Arrow. Alright, so Falcon Parker off to a good start on the stream here tonight. Up next we have 
Halloween Hank versus Raja Ring Royalty. In real time, we're in October. Um, but yeah. Hey, thanks, Dark Light VD. Appreciate it. Appreciate the follow. In a couple weeks, we'll be in October in the game, too. But right now, we're in August. All right. Rolling for initiative. Halloween Hank starts on level one. Well, thanks for joining us, Darklight. It's a great game. It's fun to watch, fun to play. So I'm, I'm glad you're here, and thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Halloween Hank on one. Swinging Neckbreaker two. Power. Power goes to Halloween Hank, so this will work. Raja Ring Royalty on one. Wheel Kick two. Hurt two. Headbutt to midsection two. Hurt two. Monarch Moonsault three. Down three. Ooh. Choice F. Choice F. What do we got here? Uh, we'll go for the, we'll go for it all. We'll go for the, uh, bear hug and trip three, which will work on a four or less. Doesn't get it. He wouldn't have gotten either one. So Hank takes over on level two. Fear stricken three. Down three. Death jump. No choice. Raj has got an A. 6A. There is no vintage death jump chart, so we got to go to the regular one. The opponent climbs to the top, but you recover and throw him off the turnbuckle and into the ring. He goes down hard. Roll on level three offense. So Raj is countering on three already. Death jump of his own. Uh, he'll go for it. Hank's getting the death jump. We've got a 7B. The opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline or some other awesome move. You are in trouble. Opponent rolls on level three offense. So Raj is on three. And he hits a lily pad leap plus one. Hank will need a five or better to get out of this. He does. Raj on three. Rolling leg drop three. Hurt two. Belly to belly suplex two. Hurt two. Corkscrew elbow choice B. You can go into the turnbuckle or go for a quick foot sweep, which will work on a six or less for level two. Uh, we'll go for that. Six or less for level two. He gets it. Halloween Hank two. Spine Buster three. Down three. Raja will leave the ring. 5B on out of the ring. Your opponent opens the ropes, but as you step through them, you take down the opponent with a leg whip. The official is frustrated with your lack of sportsmanship. Rule disqualification. He's got a DQ of 5. Oh, there's one DQ. We always give him a second chance on the first DQ. And he gets, gets out of that one. All right, so he's on level three offense. Death jump, he'll go ahead and do it. Seven, I think that's the same one we just had. Yep, the opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline from the top. You're in trouble. Opponent rolls on level three. And out of the ring, no choice. 5A on out of the ring. As your opponent barrels you into the ropes, you fall on top of them. You shift your weight and land on top of your opponent. Your opponent is stunned. Opponent rolls count out. All right. Needs a four better. He's got it. And Hank is on level three. Yep. Lost the die. All right. Head slam two. Hurt two. Spine buster three. Down three. We've got an H squared bomb, three, add one. Hurt two. Exploder suplex choice B. 
throw them into the turnbuckle. 10B on into the turnbuckle. Your opponent backs out of the corner and rushes, and you rush towards them. They use your momentum to deliver an overhead suplex and throw you across the ring. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Hank is on three. Chilling choke slam three. Hurt two. Fear stricken three. Down three. Out of the ring. He'll roll up on two. Up. Oh. Loses that battle on agility. Raja's on two. Monarch Moonsault three. Down three. Hank will leave. 10A on out of the ring. As you back into the ropes, the opponent shoves you out of the ring. The referee is upset with such a flagrant violation of the rules. Opponent rules disqualification. So he's need a, he needs a six. He got it, so he's on level three offense. Choice F. I don't think either one of those was good for Raja. Yeah, he'll go for the bear hug and trip. It'll be on a four or less. Nope. Hank takes over on two. Flying forearm, agility. Raja takes over for agility. Belly to belly suplex, two. Halloween Hank, two. Flying forearm, agility. Raja takes over. Leapfrog and heel kick, three. Hurt, two. Monarch Moonsault, three. Hurt, two. Corkscrew elbow, choice B. Hmm. Go for the six or less for the quick foot sweep. Doesn't get it. Hank takes over on two. Spine buster three. Hurt two. Into the ropes. Uh, I'll choose to go up to one. Gourd buster two. Roger ring royalty one. Ring royalty neck drop three, but it's a power check, which goes to Halloween Hank. He takes over on two. Top rope clothesline two choice F. Uh, he'll go for the bear hug and trip three on a ten or less. He gets it. Raja's on three defense. That's a pin. He needs a six or better, and he got it. Add another fatigue. Hank is on level three. Out of the ring choice, uh, he'll go up to two. Fear stricken three. Down three, Raja will leave the ring anyway. Eight, B on out of the ring. As you back into the ropes, the opponent shoves you out of the ring. The referee is upset with such a flagrant rules violation. Opponent rules DQ. Hank needs a five or better. He's okay, so now he rolls on level three offense. Death jump, no choice. Ooh, snake eyes. That can't be good for Mr. Hank. Actually, I think this is a hurt referee. The opponent tries a spectacular move, but accidentally smashes into the referee. The referee is down. Roll two dice to see how many moves the referee is hurt for. Four moves. Referee's down for four moves. Let's use a D6 here for the counter. All right, four moves. All right, we got to roll one die. Even will be Raja. Odd will be Hank. All right. Hank takes over on level three. All right, here's the first move. Head slam two, down three. Bring that down to three. Second move. Head slam two. Raja ring royalty two. Belly to belly suplex two. Hurt two. Monarch moonsault three. Hurt two. Belly to belly suplex two. Halloween Hank two. Exploder suplex choice B. Referees up. We'll go into the turnbuckle. 8B on into the turnbuckle. 
Your opponent backs out of the corner and you rush towards them. They use your momentum to deliver an overhead suplex. The opponent throws you across the ring and rolls on level three offense. Tank is on three. That's Fright Knight plus two. So that brings his pin up to an eight. He needs a nine or better to kick out. And he does not. Halloween Hank wins with Fright Knight. Alrighty. Next up, we've got Ginger Rogers battling another member of Holiday Horror, Pete Cottontail. Alrighty, here we go. Rolling for initiative. Chat's pretty busy tonight, thanks guys. Ginger Rogers gets initiative. Jawbreaker two. Down three. This could be a quick one. Freckled forearm. Needs a four or better to get out of it. He does. Out of T. Ginger Rogers continues on three. Seeing red plus two. That brings his pin up to a six. He needs a seven or better. Kicks out of that with authority. Ginger Rogers again on three. Another seeing red. He now needs an eight or better. Right? Yeah. And he got him that time. That was a quick and easy uh, victory for Ginger Rogers. With seeing red. All right. We are moving right along tonight. Our first card. Main event of the evening is number one contender Eagle Richards versus Murky Waters. And just before this match is about to begin, we have an official announcement. At Dog Days at the end of the month. Lambert will be defending his dimensional title against Eagle Richards in a two out of three falls match for the NDW Dimensional Championship. All right, so Eagle Richards is getting a chance to reclaim the title he lost not too long ago. All right, rolling for initiative. How much you guys want to bet that after uh, he's announced as the title contender, he loses this match? All right, initiative goes to Eagle Richards. Dropkick two agility. Agility goes to Murky Waters. So I'll take over on two. Diving clothesline choice B. Um, he'll go into the turnbuckle. 7B on into the turnbuckle. The referee orders a clean break. The opponent backs off. And you step out of the corner. The opponent steps to the side and grabs an outside single leg takedown. Opponent rolls on level 2 offense. We'll go into the turnbuckle again. 10B. Your opponent backs out of the corner and you rush toward them. They use your momentum to deliver an overhead suplex and throw you across the ring. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Hesitation drop kick choice F. Uh, we will go for the bear hug and trip on a four or less. Nope. Choice F is tough, a six or less. All right, Eagle Richards is on two. Into the ropes. Uh, he will go up to level one. Indian Deathlock three power. Eagle Richards does have the power advantage. Hurt two. Vertical suplex two. Down three. 
Wings of the Eagle, plus two. Uh, that brings his pin up to a four. He'll need a five or better. Kicks out kind of with authority there. Eagle Richards on three with a diving tackle. Choice F of his own. Um, we'll go with the power choice of an eight or less. He gets it for three. For two. Corkscrew clothesline, agility. Agility goes to Murky Waters. Rolling next snap two. Hurt two. Fisherman suplex three. Down three. He'll leave the ring. 8B on out of the ring. As you back into the ropes, the opponent shoves you out of the ring. The referee is upset with such a flagrant rules violation. Opponent rules disqualification. All right, so he needs a five or better. He's good. For a level three offense. Uh, death jump. He will go up to level two. Whip with tail two. Hurt two. Deadliest catch three. Down three. Fishing line three. Down three. Eagle will leave again. Uh, that's a nine B. You fall out of the ring and land awkwardly, twisting your ankle on the floor. You crawl back into the ring, add one to your pin rating, and opponent rolls on level three offense. Going under, plus two. So he needs a five or better to get out of this one, which he does. Add another fatigue. Murky Waters is on three. Hesitation drop kick choice F. We'll go for the level two move this time. I think that'll be a five or less. Not much better. Doesn't get that. Eagle Richards is on two. He does not have a fatigue of seven. Uh, vertical suplex two. Hurt two. Corkscrew clothesline. Murky's taken over for agility. Whip with tail two. Hurt two. Rolling neck snap two. Dazed one. Dead Sea Driver three. Hurt two. Fisherman suplex three. Hurt two. Rolling neck snap two. Hurt two. Whip with tail two. Hurt two. Uh, choice B. Uh, we'll go into the turnbuckle. 8B on into the turnbuckle. Your opponent backs out of the corner and you rush towards them. They use your momentum to deliver an overhead suplex and throw you across the ring. Opponent rolls on level 3 offense. Out of the ring, he'll go up to 2. Whip with tail 2. Hurt 2. Whip with tail 2. Dazed 1. Piranha Bite 2. Eagles taking over for power on 2. Mexican Surfboard 3. Hurt 2. Choice B on the head scissors. Uh, I guess we'll go into the turnbuckle. 5B. You are backed into the corner. As the referee orders a clean break, you grab the opponent and bowl them into the corner. The tables are turned. Opponent rolls on this chart. So Eagles on into the turnbuckle now. 10B. Your opponent backs out of the corner and you rush towards them. They use your momentum to deliver an overhead suplex and throw you across the ring. Opponent rules on level three offense. Out of the ring choice. He'll go up to two. Flurry of flipper kicks two. Eagle Richards one. Spin kick to shin one. Hurt two. Choice B. He'll go into the turnbuckle. Uh-oh, 4B. As you and your opponent are tied up, you back into the corner. The referee orders a clean break, but your opponent takes a wild swing at your head. Luckily, you duck the shot and drive your opponent into the turnbuckle. Drive the opponent with a powerful double leg takedown. Roll on level 2 offense. Murky's on 2. Flurry of flipper kicks 2. Eagle Richards 2. Hey, Amish Elvis in the house. How's it going? Choice B on the flying head scissors. We'll go into the turnbuckle again, I suppose. 
That'll be a 7B on into the turnbuckle. The referee orders a clean break. The opponent backs off and you step out of the corner. The opponent steps aside and grabs an outside single leg takedown. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Uh, Murky Waters is taking over on agility. Whip with tail two. Eagle Richards one. Arm drag one. Dazed one. Monkey flip two. Hurt two. Mexican surfboard three. Pin. He needs a four or better to get out of this one. Which he does. We'll add another fatigue. Oops. Eagle Richards on three. Double arm suplex three. Hurt two. Corkscrew clothesline agility. Agility goes to Murky Waters. He's taken over on two. Flurry of flipper kicks two. Down three. Uh oh. Lagoon kick three. Add one. Hurt two. Deadliest catch three. Down three. Lagoon kick three, add one. Uh -oh, our number one contender is in trouble here. Down three, he's going to leave the ring, try and regroup here. Three B on out of the ring. As the opponent barrels into the ropes, you both fall from the ring. You shift your weight and land on top of the opponent. Your opponent is stunned. Opponent rolls count out, so he needs a five. Ooh, he just barely gets out of that one. So Eagle Richards is on three. Out of the ring, no choice. Three B. That's the same thing. Eagle Richards can be counted out here. He gets a five. No count out. Murky Waters is on three. Lagoon kick three, add one. Equal Riches is in trouble here. Hurt two. Fisherman Suplex three. Hurt two. Fisherman Suplex three. Hurt two. Flurry of Flipper Kicks two. Dazed one. Into the ropes. 6B on Into the Ropes. 6 B. The opponent backs into the ropes and you both break clean. To the applause of the crowd, roll for initiative. All right. Initiative takes over on two. Eagle Richards is on two. The KF Podcast is in the house. The creator of Eagle Richards. Can it be? Into the ropes. He's going to roll up on one. Indian Deathlock 3. Pin. He needs a 6 or better. He's good. Add another fatigue. Eagle Richards is on 3. Death Jump. He's going to go up to level 2. Vertical Suplex 2. Hurt 2. Into the ropes. He's going to roll up on 1. Arm drag, one. Dazed, one. Drop kick, two agility. Murky Waters takes over for agility. Fisherman suplex, three. Pin. Ooh, this is going to be close. He needs a seven or better to get out of this one. He's done. Murky Waters with the upset. Murky Waters wins the match. The Fisherman Suplex, I think. All right. Soon, as soon as the KF Podcast shows up, Eagle Richards lost. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. There is a number one contender curse here in NDW, Jibs Warrior. You are correct. 
You are correct, sir. Let's go ahead and take a quick break and set up for night number two. Right. Our opening match tonight from Baltimore is Captain Adam Space Pirate versus Headhunter Travis Deadly. Fiordi will be taking on Rick Flareon. Social Butterfly is battling the debuting John Heel. Buck Blake is battling Lance Romance in our main event. Let's go ahead and get started with our opening bout. All right, we have Captain Adam against Travis Deadly. This should be a good one. Travis Deadly has injured Die Smash for the entire month of August, and he almost injured Beorty, who narrowly avoided a concussion. Travis Deadly is undefeated so far in NDW. And he gets initiative here. Headringer 2 power. The power advantage goes to Captain Adam. He'll take over on level 2. Into the turnbuckle. Uh, he'll go for it. That's a 5A on into the turnbuckle. We're using the regular charts on this one. Since we're back in the States. You bounce forward off the turnbuckle and catch the charging opponent with a skull splitting running lariat. He goes down hard. Opponent rolls on level 3 defense. Hurt two. Travis is on two. Trapping headbutts two. Hurt two. Into the turnbuckle. Um, he'll go for it. 10A on into the turnbuckle. You're crushed by a big kick by the opponent. Opponent rules on level two offense. Running knee to the head. Three. Down three, Adam will leave. Five B on out of the ring. The opponent comes out of the ring and to continue the fight, but you grab him and smash him onto the announcer's table with an awesome specialty move. The referee may disqualify you. So Captain Adam could be disqualified here. He needs a five or better. He's good. He takes over on level three offense. X marks the spot. That's a finisher. Travis needs a three or better. Barely gets out of that one. Captain Adam is on three. Is he going to hand Travis his first loss in NDW? X marks the spot again. Travis needs a four or better. That's it. Captain Adam. Captain Adam Space Pirate wins and gives Travis Deadly his first loss and a quick one with X marks the spot. I was hoping to see that be a downgrade, but we'll take what we can get. All right. That was a quick one. Up next, we have the chat's favorite wrestler. Beordi against Rick Flareon. All right, let's go ahead and roll for initiative on this one. Spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it. All right, initiative goes to Rick Flareon. Bite to choice or um, power. Power advantage goes to Beordi. So on level two, low drop kick two agility. They're both the same, so it works. Hurt two, cubby baseball slide three. Hurt two, Blackhawk assault three. Down three, Rick Flareon's going to leave the ring. 11B on out of the ring. The opponent crushes you with a spectacular move outside the ring. Roll your count out. 
needs a three or better to make it back in, which he does. He gets a fatigue. And Biorti takes over on level three offense. Oh, the uncanny headbutt. Let's see what happens. Could it be another quick match? It's a plus three. All right, Rick Flareon needs a seven or better to kick out. He barely gets out of it. Oh, out of fatigue. Biorti continues on level three. Super Soldier Smash, three. Down three, Ric Flareon's going to leave again. That's a 9B. In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back into the ring. Opponent rules on level three offense. There it is, uncanny headbutt again. Let's see what happens. It's a plus three. So Ric Flareon needs an eight or better. And that's it. Biorti wins with the uncanny headbutt. All right. Moving right along. Up next, we have Social Butterfly against John Heal. Rolling for initiative. Social Butterfly gets initiative. Rolls on level one offense. Double knee lift two. Hurt two, drop toe hold two, hurt two, drop toe hold two, hurt two, drop toe hold two, hurt two, viral hurricane rana three, pin, this could be a big upset, he kicks out. Alrighty. Social Butterfly on level three. Oh, unfriended plus two. John Heal needs a six or better. Gets out of that. Social Butterfly is still on three. Anime and X handle three. Pin needs a five or better. Gets out of it. He's in trouble, though. He's got three fatigue already. Social Butterfly on three. Anime and X handle three. Down three. Uh, flying Head Scissors two. Choice F. All right. We'll go for the leg drop two on an eight or less. Gets it for level two. Dazed one. Social butterfly on one. Toe kick one. John heel one. Into the turnbuckle. Social butterfly's got a three turn or C turnbuckle rating. Ooh, that can't be good. 12C. You bounce forward off the turnbuckle and into an incredible neck breaking clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Two-handed choke driver, choice G. Uh, he will go for the tombstone pile driver three on an eight or less. Doesn't get it. Social butterflies on two. Butterfly suplex three, add one. Adds a fatigue, rolls on level three. He's hurt two. Butterfly suplex three, add one. He's in serious trouble. Down three. Can't do anything. Butterfly on three. Doesn't follow up too well. Flying head scissors two. Choice F. 
Go for the leg drop two on an eight or less. She gets it. Dazed one. Into the turnbuckle. 8B on into the turnbuckle. You're crushed by a big kick by the opponent. Opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Uh, double leg, Matt Slam 2 power. John Heal has the power advantage. He's on level 2. Mounted forearm smashes 2. Social butterfly 2. Countering on 2 with a caterpillar clothesline. Choice A. Uh, she'll throw him into the ropes. Uh-oh. 3B on Into the Ropes. The opponent gets into position for a back body drop. Would you grab her and hit her with an awesome pile driver? Roll on level 3 offense. Deadly drop 3. It's a finisher. She needs a 3 or better. She gets out of it. John heel on 3. Knockout punch 3. Add 1. That's a pin. She needs a five or better. That's it. John Heal wins with the knockout punch. All right. Our main event of the evening is a, another match between... Lance Romance and Buck Blake. Let's see what happens here. Buck Blake gets initiative. Rolls on level one. Lockhorns one. Dazed one. Sucker punch one. Dazed one. Larry with antlers two power. Lance Romance has the power advantage. Into the ropes. Uh, he'll do it. Buck Blake has a C rating on ropes. 5C on into the ropes. The opponent drops down and you go into the ropes again. Roll again on this chart. 7C. You come off the ropes and the opponent puts you down hard with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Flying head scissors to choice C. Um, it's going to go to the for the kick to the knee 2, which will work on a 10 or less. He gets it. Buck Blake 2. Bone arrow submission three. Hurt two. Into the ropes. Uh, he'll do it. Six B on into the ropes. The opponent drops down. You go into the ropes again. Roll again on this chart. Eight B. You come off the ropes and the opponent puts you down hard with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level two. Into the ropes again. Seven. Put you down hard with a back elbow. Level two. Salt Lick Slam. Choice F. Uh, go for a running Larry at three on a six or less. He gets it. Down three. Lance Romance will leave the ring. Nine. B on out of the ring. In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back into the ring. Opponent rules on level 3 offense. Death jump. Mm, he'll do it. 8B on death jump. The opponent flashes you with a flying clothesline or some other awesome move from the top rope. You're in trouble. Opponent rules on level 3 offense. Buck Blake on three with a low blow three. 
Down three, Lance Romance will leave. 3B on out of the ring. You grab the opponent by the leg, drag him out of the ring, and smash him into the turnbuckle post. Roll on level three offense. Lance turns it around. Top rope leg drop, choice H. He'll go for a death jump himself. 5B on death jump. The opponent climbs to the top, but you recover and throw him off the turnbuckle and into the ring. He goes down hard. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Or roll on level three offense, sorry. So Buck Blake counters. He's on three. And that's a ten point gore plus one. Lance Romance needs a five or better. He gets out of that. Buck Blake on three. Pin using the ropes. Lance Romance needs a five or better. But Buck Blake could be disqualified. He's not. Lance gets a fatigue. Buck Blake on three. Out of the ring, no choice. 3B on out of the ring. Grab the opponent by the leg, drag him out of the ring, and smash him into the turnbuckle post. Roll on level three offense. Lance is on level three. Bye, Felicia. Plus two. Buck Blake needs a six or better to kick out. And he does with his seven. Lance Romance on three. Corner cross body block two. Dazed one. Boot to the midsection two. Buck Blake one. Thumb to the eye two. Hurt two, bite to the forehead two, down three. Uh oh, whoop, lost another to die. That's out of the ring. 10B on out of the ring. The opponent comes out of the ring and tries to hit you with an object like a steel chair. The referee comes out and warns him to stop, but he pushes the referee aside. Opponent rolls disqualification. He's a five or better. Ooh, that's his first DQ. No DQ. He's on level three offense. All right. So Buck Blake used his freebie for DQ. That's a 10 point gore plus one. Needs a seven or better. And that is it. Buck Blake wins with a 10 point gore. All right, but some shenanigans is going down after the match. Travis Deadly and John Heel hit the ring and attack the two downed wrestlers after their brutal match. They're beating down both Buck Blake and Lance Romance. Believe it or not, folks, this is crazy. Travis Deadly, who's probably upset to his, about his loss to Captain Adam, Space Pirate, earlier tonight. And John Heal trying to make an example after narrowly avoiding defeat to Social Butterfly. They're, these two men are beating down Buck Blake and Lance Romance. However, the resident superhero... Beordi comes down to make the save. As he runs off, Travis and John heal. He is helping Buck Blake to his feet. When all of a sudden, low blow! Buck Blake hits Beordi with a low blow. Lance Romance pops up. And the two men beat down Beordi. And then Travis, Deadly, and John heal join the fight in a four-on-one beatdown of Beordi. Ladies and gentlemen, the Deadly Alliance has been formed. Travis Deadly, Buck Blake, Lance Romance, and their manager, John Heal, are the newest stable in NDW, the Deadly Alliance. 
So what kind of havoc will this group cause moving forward? And how will Beordi respond to the beatdown he just received? The chat is split on this one. Jibs Warrior loves it. KF Podcast, not so much. Di Dy Atkinson is in the middle somewhere. But that's how we're going to end that show tonight with the formation of the Deadly Alliance. Also this week, we have a movie premiere. B.A. Jerk attends the Hollywood premiere of Captain Impact at the Village Theater in Westwood, California. However, as he's posing for some photos on the red carpet, he gets a drink thrown in his face by none other than Troy Boy, who causes a big scene at the Captain Impact world premiere. B.A. Jerk is not happy about this. The security pull these guys apart before anything really goes down. Thankfully, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But yes, B.A. Jerk was assaulted at the Captain Impact premiere on the red carpet by Troy Boy. Can you believe this guy? All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick break while I set up for the next card. All right, so we're back. Pete Cottontail will be taking on Lambert. Ginger Rogers will be taking on Ulog. Halloween Hank continues his battle against the Knights of the Round Table against Falcon Parker. And in a tag team main event, main event, we have the Black and Blue Crew versus Creature Feature. So let's go ahead and get started. For this one, we'll be using the classic charts once again for a more traditional presentation. All right, our opening match is Lambert versus Pete Cottontail. This is an odd matchup, but this is your dimensional champion, a fighting champion, but the title is not on the line. All right. Lambert has initiative, wrist lock one, dazed one, shove into the ropes and chop two, down three, step over toe hold three, hurt two, twisting bear hug three, hurt two, scoop slam and stomp two, dazed one, Four on club one, Pete Cottontail two, double foot stomp two, hurt two, side headlock two power, power goes to Lambert, into the ropes, uh, he'll go for it, seven B on into the ropes, the opponent backs into the ropes and you both break clean to the applause of the crowd, roll for initiative. 
Initiative goes to Pete Cottontail. He's on level two. Lucky Human's Foot, three. Hurt, two. Metallic Running Lariat, three. Hurt, two. Double Foot Stomp, two. Lambert, two. Double Arm Sledge, two. Down three. Corner Splash, choice H. Um, we'll try a painful toe hold. It'll be a five or less. And we'll throw him into the ropes instead. Throw him into the ropes. Five B on into the ropes. The opponent backs into the ropes, and you both break clean. Roll for initiative. Initiative goes to Lambert on two. Gorilla Press Slam, three. Hurt, two. Into the ropes. He'll go for it. 10B on Into the Ropes. You and your opponent are locked in a clinch near the ropes. The opponent locks in an underhook and throws you hard to the mat. Opponent rules on level three offense. Out of the ring. He's going to roll up on two. Scoop slam and stomp two. Down three. Out of the ring. He's going to roll up on two. Choice E. Let's see what that is on these charts. Uh, we'll go for a forearm uppercut two, which will work on a nine or less. Gets it. Hurt two. Into the ropes. He'll go for it. Six B on into the ropes. The opponent backs into the ropes and you both break clean to the applause of the crowd. Roll for initiative. Initiative goes to Pete this time. Double foot stomp two, hurt two, metallic running Larry at three, pin. This is interesting. It needs a four better. Ooh, he kicks out. Pete Cottontail is on three, though. Death jump. He'll go for it. Seven B on death jump. You put a blast you with a flying clothesline from the top. You're in trouble. Put it rules on level three offense. Bunny hop three, down three. Lambert will leave. Eight A on out of the ring. Tumble through the ropes to the floor. The opponent holds the ropes open for you to return to the ring in a good display of sportsmanship. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Metallic running Larry at three. Pin. Uh oh. He needs a five or better. Gets out of that. Pete Cottontail's on three. Bite to the forehead two. Hurt two. Metallic running Larry at three. That's another pin. He needs a six or better. Gets out of that. Pete on three. That's the bad egg plus two. He needs a nine or better. And Pete Cottontail score a victory over the champ. Lost another die. Let's see. He does. Pete Cottontail with the upset with Bad Egg. Pete Cottontail. He might have a claim and a title shot here shortly. All right. Very interesting. Up next, we have Ginger Rogers versus Ulog. We got a tie on initiative. Let's do that again. All right, Ulog gets initiative. Chokehold two power. It works. Down three. Neanderthal headbutt three. Add one. Down three. 
series of clubbing blows three choice e um he'll go for the rolling knee bar three on a eight on an eight or less doesn't get it ginger rogers is on two strawberry blonde headbutt three down three seeing red plus two Ulog needs a seven or better and that's it ginger rogers wins with seeing red Ginger Rogers is on a bit of a roll here. All right. KF Podcast is a Ginger Rogers fan. Here we have Halloween Hank versus Falcon Parker. Halloween Hank continues his battle against the Knights of the Round Table. And here we go with initiative. Initiative goes to Halloween Hank. Swinging Neckbreaker 2 power. Power goes to Hank, so this will work. Down 3. H squared bomb 3. Add 1. Hurt 2. Spinebuster three, pin. He needs a four better. Oh, snake eyes. Halloween Hank wins with a spinebuster. And I mean, this guy's fighting the whole team, so I think I think we got to do a few table here, right, guys? All right, you refers to Halloween Hank. So let's see what happens here. We've got an eight. You are attacked from behind by an ally of the opponent. So Eagle Richards. All of a sudden, an ally of yours rushes to the ring in a wild brawl involving all four men erupts. So, Pete Cottontail, it takes the entire security force to break it up. When the smoke clears, the commissioner books, books the four wrestlers in a tag team super match for a later show. It is up to you. So, we're going to have Halloween Hank and Pete Cottontail against the Birds of Prey later on this month. Exciting stuff. All right. I need to write that down because I'm going to forget. <laughs> what is that emoji? Or remote, is it? Is that the Geico gecko? All right. So Pete and Hank. Versus Birds of Prey. All right, now we have a tag team main event for tonight. As the Black and Blue crew will be battling Creature Feature in our tag team main event. Start with Murky Waters on this side and Navy Blue on this side. All right, here comes Initiative. Initiative goes to the Black and Blue crew. Spinning Wheel Kick 2, Dazed 1. Football Tackle 2, Power. That work. Hurt 2. Into the turnbuckle, he'll do it. 7B on into the turnbuckle. The referee orders a clean break. The opponent backs off and you step out of the corner. The opponent steps to the side and grabs 
An outside single leg takedown. Opponent rules on level two offense. Human Torpedo three, hurt two. From the depths three, down three, tag. Six or less, and we can tag in. Doesn't get it. Death jump. Uh, he'll roll up on two. From the depths three, hurt two. Single leg takedown two power. Murky waters on one. Blow bubbles at opponent one. Navy blue one. Elbow strike one. Murky waters two. Flurry of flipper kicks two. Down three. Murky waters is going to tag in like and moon. Comes in on level three. Out of the ring, no choice. 9B on out of the ring. You fall out of the ring and land awkwardly, twisting your ankle on the floor. You crawl back into the ring, add one to your pin rating, and opponent rolls on level three offense. Pummel and Maul two. Navy blue two. Human torpedo three. Pin. Uh, we're not going to burn a pin save just yet. Kicks out. We're going to tag in Jet Black. Jet Black is on three. Diving knee drop three. Down three. Like a moon will leave the ring. We've got a 6B on out of the ring. You tumble through the ropes to the floor. The opponent holds the ropes open for you to return to the ring in a great display of sportsmanship. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Missile drop kick three. Pin. Um, he needs a five or better. We'll save a pin save here. All right, he barely kicks out. Jet Black is on three. Death jump. Uh, he'll go for it. 7B on death jump. The opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline from the top. You're in trouble. Opponent rolls on level three offense. We're going to tag Navy Blue back in. Out of the ring, no choice. 7B on out of the ring. You tumble through the ropes to the floor. The opponent holds the ropes open for you to return to the ring in a great display of sportsmanship. The opponent rolls on level two offense. Human Torpedo three, hurt two. Inverted neck breaker choice C. Uh, we'll go for Duck Under Takedown, which will work on a seven or less for level three. He gets it. That's a pin. He needs a six or better. We're going to use our first pin save. Six. Your tag partner saves you and breaks the referee's count. Opponent rolls on level three offense. All right, so we still get a fatigue. Navy blue is on three. Shoulder breaker three. Hurt two, or down three, leave. Looking at the wrong thing. 6B on out of the ring. You tumble through the ropes to the floor. The opponent holds the ropes open for you to return to the ring in a great display of sportsmanship. Opponent rolls on level three, level two offense. Sorry. Uh, choice C. That was eight or less for three. You got it. Hook two. Double leg takedown two power. Power advantage goes to Lycan Moon. Into the ropes. He's gonna he's gonna do that. 7A on into the ropes. The opponent backs into the ropes and you both break clean to the applause of the crowd. Roll for initiative. Initiative goes to Navy Blue. He's on two. Human torpedo three. Hurt two. Back elbow smash two. Lycan moon two. Vicious Claw Swipe 2, Hurt 2, Into the Ropes, uh, he'll go ahead and do it, 
We've got an eight B on into the or eight A into the ropes. Opponent backs into the ropes, and you both break clean to the applause of the crowd. Let's roll initiative. Initiative goes to Lycan Moon. He's on two. Werewolf Spite, three. Hurt, two. Into the turnbuckle. Go for it. 8B on into the turnbuckle. Your opponent backs out of the corner and rushes, and you rush towards them. They use the momentum to deliver an overhead suplex. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Lycan Moon is on three. Silver Bullet, three. Hurt, two. Into the turnbuckle. 5B on into the turnbuckle. You're backed into the corner. As the referee orders a clean break, you grab the opponent and bowl them into the corner. The tables are turned. Opponent rolls on this chart. Lycan Moon is into the turnbuckle. That's a 9A. Your opponent backs out of the corner and you rush towards them. They use your momentum to deliver an overhead suplex and throw you across the ring. Opponent rolls on level 3 offense. Navy Blue on 3. Shoulder Breaker 3. That's a pin. He needs a 7 or better. He's going to burn their second pin save. 4. Your tag partner saves you and breaks the referee's count. Alright, so he adds another fatigue. These guys are out of pin saves. Navy Blue is on 3. Man overboard. We play normally, so it's a level three. That's a pin. No pin saves. He needs an eight or better. And that is it. The black and blue crew win with navy blue pinning Lycan Moon. With man overboard. All right, we're going to take another quick break here and set up for the next show. Please stick around. Feel free to chat. All right, I will be right back. All right, in our opening bout, Captain Adam Space Pirate will be battling Hollywood B.A. Jerk. Buck Blake is battling Rick Flareon. Social Butterfly is taking on Headhunter Travis Deadly. And Beordi is looking for a bit of revenge against the Deadly Alliance's Lance Romance after the setup last week and the four-on-one beatdown. So let's go ahead and get started here tonight. Opening bout is B.A. Jerk versus Captain Adam Space Pirate. All right, B.A. Jerk wins initiative. Sucker Punch 1, Dazed 1. Sucker Punch 1, Dazed 1. Knee to midsection 2, Captain Adam Space Pirate 1. Wrist lock, neck breaker two, BA jerk one, sucker punch one, dazed one, slap to face one, hurt two. 
Stomp on foot one. Dazed one. Into the ropes. 6B on Into the Ropes. The opponent drops down and you go into the ropes again. Roll again on this chart. 10B. The opponent tries a running clothesline, but so do you. The result is a double clothesline and you both go down. The wrestler with the better ropes rating recovers first or rolls on level 3 offense. They're both the same. Both wrestlers have the same rope rating. Their opponent recovers first and rules on level 3 offense. So BA Jerk is on level 3 offense. Social Network Crash 3. Hurt 2. Uh, trending Worldwide. Choice E. We're going to go for a Scorpion Deathlock 3 on a 10 or less. He gets it. Hurt 2. Into the turnbuckle. Uh, he'll go for it. 11B on, or 11A on into the turnbuckle. 11A. It's up to you, promoter. You come off the turnbuckle with a big specialty move, but the opponent tries a specialty move of his own. Both wrestlers go down. The wrestler with a better turnbuckle rating recovers first and rules on level 3 offense. That is Captain Adam. Death jump. Uh, he'll go up to two. Drop kick to knee. Choice C. He's going to go for a moonsault three on a nine or less. He gets it. Hurt two. Jawbreaker two. Dazed one. Inverted atomic drop two. Agility. Agility goes to Captain Adam. Agility and power to the Captain Adam. BA Jerk 1. Into the ropes. 4B on Into the Ropes. Opponent gets into position for a back body drop, but you grab him and hit him with an awesome pile driver. Roll on level 3 offense. Captain Adam on 3. Cobra Clutch Suplex 2. Hurt 2. Uh, choice C, that was the moonsault, I think. Yep, on a nine or less. He gets it for three. Hurt two. Walk the plank. Three, add one. Hurt two. Jawbreaker two. Hurt two. Quick jab one. Dazed one. Wrist lock neck breaker two. Hurt two. Treasure Hunt 3, Hurt 2, Walk the Plank 3, Add 1. That's a pin. He needs a 5 or better. Kicks out. Captain Adam continues on 3. Cobra Clutch Suplex 2, Dazed 1. Nerve Hold 1, Dazed 1. Up against the wall, choice A. Throw him into the into the ropes. That's a 9B on into the ropes. The opponent tries a big shoulder tackle, but whether the move works depends on which wrestler is more powerful. The wrestler with a better power rating will win and roll on level 2 offense. Power rating goes to Captain Adam. He is on level 2. Walk the plank three, add one. The yeah, jerks busted open now. Hurt two. Into the turnbuckle. Uh, he'll go for it. Ooh, 5B on into the turnbuckle. He lifts the knee to the oncoming opponent's head. Roll on level two offense. The yeah, jerk counters that. He's on level two. Arm drag and kick two. Hurt two. Trending worldwide. Choice E. That is the Scorpion Deathlock three on a 10 or less. That'll work. Hurt two. Skyline press three. Hurt two. 
Arm drag and kick two. Hurt two. Trending worldwide three. We need a ten or less. We got it. Three. Hurt two. The jerk continues. We need a ten or less. That's it. Down three. The jerk is on the level three. Dot com driver three. Down three. Captain Adam will leave the ring. 7B. On out of the ring. In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back into the ring. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Dot com driver three. Down three. Captain Adam will leave again. 11B. Ooh, a count out. No count out. BA Jerk is on level three. Pump kick two. Dazed one. Knee to the midsection two. Hurt two. Into the turnbuckle. Uh, I'll go for it. 5A on into the turnbuckle. That's not going to be good for BA Jerk. You bounce forward off the turnbuckle and catch the charging opponent with a skull splitting running lariat. He goes down hard. Opponent rolls on level three defense. Hurt two. Captain Adam on two. Drop kick to the knee two. Choice C. That should be a moonsault. Yep, his will work on a nine or less. Got it. Down three, BA Jerk will leave the ring. That's a 4A on out of the ring. You grab the opponent by the leg, drag him out of the ring, and smash him into the turnbuckle. Rule on level three offense. Inappropriate. It's a finisher. But wait. Just wait. We're going to rule for some outside interference. Eight. Your ally distracts the referee, breaking the pin count. The referee orders him to leave. Rule, opponent rolls on level three offense. So Troy Boy is now at ringside and broke up the pin. So B.A. Jerk is going to have to hit that finisher again. Troy Boy just cost him the match, possibly. Let's see. Low blow, choice G. Uh, we're going to go for a death jump. 5B on death jump. The opponent climbs to the top, but you recover and throw him off the turnbuckle and into the ring. He goes down hard. Roll on level 3 offense. Captain Adams now on level 3. Swashbuckling splash 3. Down 3. B.A. Jerk's going to leave because he's a coward. We've got a 9A. In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back into the ring. Opponent rules on level 3 offense. X marks the spot. He needs a 7 or better. That's it. Captain Adam wins with X marks the spot. Troy Boy's interference did not help at all. Captain Adam wins with X marks the spot. All right. Moving right along here. Up next, we have Deadly Alliance member Buck Blake against Rick Flareon. And in the corner of Buck Blake is John Heal. Going for initiative. We've got a tie. All right, Buck Blake gets initiative. Running Larry with antlers to power. Power goes through Flareon. He takes over on two. Helping hand chokehold two. Hurt two. Sand attack knee drop two. Choice B. Uh, let's see what we got here. We're going to throw him into the turnbuckle. 
Uh-oh. 3A on into the turnbuckle. The opponent tries a running clothesline, but you move and he crashes into the turnbuckle. You cover him for the pin. All right, Rick Flareon can get pinned right here. Ooh, almost. Buck Blake is on three. Death jump, he'll go for it. 7B on death jump. The opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline from the top rope. You're in trouble. Opponent rolls on level three offense. That's a 10 point gore plus one. Needs a five or better. He just barely gets out of that one. Buck Blake continues on level three. Another 10 point gore. Needs a six or better this time. And he just barely gets out of that one. He's hurting pretty bad now. Buck Blake continues on three. Low blow three. Hurt two. Into the ropes. Uh, he'll go for it. That's a 7B on into the ropes. You come off the ropes and the opponent puts you down hard with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Bite to the forehead two. Hurt two. Into the ropes again. He'll go for it. 8B on into the ropes. You come off the ropes and the opponent puts you down hard with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Salt Lick Slam. Choice F. Choice F we've got. We can do a Scorpion Death Lock 3 on a 9 or less. We got it. That's a down three. Rick Flareon will leave the ring. 7B on out of the ring. In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back into the ring. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Deer crossing two. Rick Flareon two. Ember elbow drop three. Pin. He needs a four or better. We'll save our distraction from John Hugh. Gets out of that. Rick Flareon on three. Last resort chop block three. Down three. Out of the ring, no choice. 9A. In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back into the ring. Opponent rolls on level three offense. That's a choice H. Let's see what our options are there. We're going to go for the Tombstone Pile Driver 3 on an 11 or less. He gets it. That's a pin. We're going to burn our distraction. John Hill's distractor rating is an 8 or less. So we have to roll less than 8. And he breaks up the pin. Which he does. Okay. Can't do that anymore. Rick Flareon adds a fatigue. Or Buck Blake, I'm sorry, adds a fatigue. Rick Flareon's on three. Out of the ring. No choice. Ooh, 11A on out of the ring. The opponent comes out of the ring and tries to hit you with an object like a steel chair. The referee warns him to stop, but he pushes the referee aside. Could be disqualified. There's one DQ. Let's see if he gets his second chance. He's good. He's on level three offense. He's got another choice H. I forget what that was already. We're going to go for the tombstone or a flying elbow drop. Or no, death jump. We're going to do death jump. 6B on death jump. We've got the opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline or some other awesome move from the top rope. You're in trouble. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Last resort chop block three. That's a pin. He needs a six or better. He's good. Rick Flareon on three. Ooh, Flare Blitz leg lock plus three. Rick uh, Buck Blake needs a 10 or better. And that is it. The Flair Blitz leg lock from Rick Flareon. 
All right. That was a fun one. Up next, we have Travis Deadly against Social Butterfly. Social Butterfly kind of embarrassed John Heal last week. She beat him up and nearly pinned him. So Travis Deadly is looking for a measure of revenge. And he's looking to injure Social Butterfly and put her out of action just like he did Die Smash last month. And he gets the initiative, level one offense, Into the Ropes. 10B on Into the Ropes. The opponent tries a running clothesline, but so do you. The result is a double clothesline. The rest with a better ropes rating recovers first and rules on level three offense. That is Travis. Out of the ring, he's going to go ahead and roll up on two. Running knee to the head three, hook two, trapping headbutts two, down three, perfect headshot three, hook two. We got to add one to his finisher rating here. Travis on two, repeated head slams two, hook two, repeated head slams two. Two, repeated head slams two, down three, diving headbutt choice H. Let's see. He's going to go for the flying elbow drop three on an eight or less. Doesn't get it. Social butterfly takes over on two. Butterfly suplex three, add one. Hurt two. Tilt to world neckbreaker two, backbreaker, sorry. Hurt two, tilt to world backbreaker two, headhunter Travis deadly one. Head ringer two, power, power advantage goes to social butterfly. Drop toe hold two, hurt two, butterfly suplex three, add one. Down three. Death jump, she'll roll up on two. Drop toe hold two, down three. Unfriended plus two. John Heal's going to try his distraction. That's good, so no pin. Social butterflies on three again. Flying head scissors two, choice F. Go for the running Larry at three on a nine or less. She doesn't get it. Travis takes over on two. Kick to the head two. Social butterfly two. Double leg mat slam two. Try headhunter Travis deadly two. Running knee to the head three. Down three. Head Crusher 3, that's add another to his finisher rating. Hurt 2. Head Clapper 3, add another to his finisher rating. Down 3, here we go. Ooh, Head Trauma plus 3. She needs a 6 or better. She gets out of it. She gets a fatigue. Travis is on three. It's another head trauma. She now needs a seven or better. She kicks out of that one with authority. Travis continues on three. Head crusher three. He adds another to his finisher rating. Butterflies on three defense. She's hurt two. Trapping headbutts two. Social butterfly one. Overhead chop one, Travis Deadly one. Hanging head driver two, power, social butterfly takes over for power. 
Viral Hurricane Rana 3, down 3, Death Jump, she'll go for it, uh-oh, 4B on Death Jump. The opponent climbs to the top, but you recover and throw her off the turnbuckle and into the ring. She goes down hard. Rule on level three offense. Uh oh. Travis Deadly on three. Perfect headshot three. He's now maxed out at plus five on his finisher. Pin. She needs a five or better. She gets out of it. Travis is on three. Flying head scissors two. Down three. Head trauma, plus five. She needs an 11 or better to get out of this. That's it. She loses to the, the head trauma. Let's see what happens. No injury. She somehow avoids injury. Travis Deadly just tried to take out another one, but she avoids injury. Travis Deadly wins with head trauma. All right. It was a close one. It's five or six, and they get injured for the amount equal to whatever the finisher rating is. So that's why Die Smash is out for five cards, because he hit the maximum on her. All right. And our main event of the evening. Fiordi versus Lance Romance. All right, let's roll for initiative. Initiative goes to Beordi. Cup slap, one. Hurt, two. Low drop kick, two. Agility. That work. Down, three. Out of the ring. He's going to roll up on two. Low drop kick, two. Hurt, two. Two, Cubby Baseball Slide 3, Hurt 2, uh, Choice C on the Power Slam. He's going to go for a 7 or less on the Moonsault 3. He gets it. Down 3, Lance Romance will leave the ring. 3B on Out of the Ring. You grab the opponent by the leg, drag him out of the ring, and smash him into the turnbuckle post. Roll on level three offense. Lance Romance is on level three. That's the crush. Three, add one. Down three. Hide your wives, three. Hurt two. Afternoon delight, three. Down three. Hide your wives three, down three. Beordi will leave the ring. That's a three B on his end. You grab the opponent by the leg, drag him out of the ring, and smash him into the turnbuckle post. Roll on level three offense. The bear hug three, hurt two. Power slam choice C. That will be a seven or less for the moon salt. He gets it for three. That's a pin attempt. He needs a four or better. That'll work. Beordi's on three. Ultimate Havoc three. Add one to both. Hurt two. Into the turnbuckle. He's going to roll up on level one. Cup slap one. Dazed one into the ropes. Four B on into the ropes. The opponent gets into position for a back body drop, but you grab him and hit him with an awesome pile driver. Roll on level three offense. So Lance Romance counters on level three. Top rope leg drop choice H. He's going to go for the flying elbow drop on an eight or less. He gets it. Level three. Pin. Beordi needs a four or better. 
Take a side on that. Lance Romance is on three. Hide Your Wives, three. Hurt, two. Two Timing Suplex, three. Down, three. Hide Your Wives, three. Down, three. Uh, top Rope Leg Drop, we're going to go for the Tombstone. Wait, no. Flying Elbow, elbow Drop, three on an eight or less. He gets it. Hurt, two. Into the ropes. Uh, he's going to go up to one. Quick jab. One. Fiorty, two. Choice C. That's a moonsault three on a seven or less. He gets it. Hurt two. X Factor three. Add one. Pin. I think we're going to try John Heal's distraction. He gets it. All right. So Lance avoids that pin attempt. But Beordi is on level three. The bear hug three. Down three. Ultimate Havoc three. Add one to both. That's a pin. He needs a nine or better. And that's it. But look, we've got doubles. He already wins with Ultimate Havoc. All right, let's see. This is a must feud here, Jibs Warrior. You are correct. These guys, are, they just set up Beordi, attacked him last week. Let's see what happens now. All right, you refers to Beordi, so here we go. Eight. You are attacked from behind by an ally of the opponent. We'll say it's Travis Deadly. All of a sudden, an ally of yours rushes the ring in a wild brawl involving all four mini reps. It takes the entire security force to break it up. When the smoke clears, the commissioner books the four wrestlers in a tag team super match for the next fight card. So let's go ahead and finally debut fellow superhero Pit Viper. He will make the save. So next week we will see. I don't know where Travis went. Travis Deadly and Lance Romance take on Beordi in the debuting Pit Viper in a tag team main event. All right, let me write that down. He was in catering. He was, just wait he was just waiting for his opportunity to get involved. All right, so Pit Viper. And Beordi versus Lance and Travis. All right. We're breezing right through here tonight. We've got one more event left. But first, let's check in with B.A. Jerk. B.A. Jerk is appearing on Midnight with Herman Baldo to talk about the hit movie Captain Impact, which is in theaters now. During the interview, Herman Baldo brings up Troy Boy and how he just cost him a match last Saturday. B.A. Jerk brings up the Troy Boy is just a sore loser, and he can't handle the fact that B.A. Jerk is better than him. But for behind the curtain at the talk show, Troy Boy attacks B.A. Jerk. So while Bra erupts on the set of Midnight with Herman Baldo between these two guys, the police pull them apart, police and security, and separate them before anything gets too out of hand. But yeah, Troy Boy attacks B.A. Jerk while he's promoting his movie, 
on a talk show. What's going to happen next between these two? All right, let's take a quick break and set up for the final card of the evening. All right, in our opening contest, Roger Ring Royalty will be taking on Pete Cottontail. Jet Black is taking on Ginger Rogers. Halloween Hank is going up against Eagle Richards. And our dimensional champion, the Lambert, is facing the tag team partner of the number one contender, Eagle Richards. It's actually Falcon Parker. That's a typo. And here we go. All right, Raja Ring Royalty versus Pete Cottontail. All right, Pete Cottontail gets the initiative, takes over, starts on level one, Rabbit Punch one, Raja Ring Royalty two. Into the ropes, he'll go for it. That's a 6B on Into the Ropes. I need the correct charts. The opponent backs into the ropes, and you both break clean to the applause of the crowd. Roll for initiative. All right, Pete Cottontail is on level two. Metallic running Larry at three. Down three, Raja will leave the ring. 4B on Out of the Ring. As your opponent barrels into the ropes, you both fall from the ring. You shift your weight and land on top of the opponent. Your opponent is stunned. Opponent rolls count out. No count out. So Raja is on level three. Rolling leg drop three. Pin. He needs a five or better. Gets out of that. Raja's on three. Webbed feet drop kick three. Put two. Choice B on the corkscrew elbow. He'll throw him into the turnbuckle. Seven B on into the turnbuckle. The referee orders a clean break. The opponent backs off and you step out of the corner. The opponent steps to the side and grabs an outside single leg takedown. Opponent rules on level two offense. We're going to go for that again. 6B that time. It's the exact same thing. Raja's on two. Go for that again. 8B. Your opponent backs out of the corner and you rush towards them. They use your momentum to deliver an overhead suplex and throw you across the ring. Opponent rules on level three offense. That's a lily pad leap plus one. He's a seven or better. And he kicks out of that. Raja continues on level three. Out of the ring, no choice. 10B on the out of the ring chart. You collide violently with your opponent, sending you falling out of the ring, where you strike your head on the floor. Roll count out. All right, so I need a seven or better. And that is it. Raja Ring Royalty wins via countout. All right. After Pete Cottontail hit his head on the floor. All right. Countout. 
Up next, we have Ginger Rogers against Jet Black. Okay, Ginger Rogers is continuing his battle against the Black and Blue crew. Trying to move up the rankings to number one contender. He's pretty close. And that's a tie. Ginger Rogers wins initiative. Arm drag and spine kick to agility. Agility goes to Jet Black. Choice E on the flying clothesline. I'm going to go for the rolling knee bar three on an eight or less. Doesn't get it. Ginger Rogers takes over on two. Flying fist to the face two. Hurt two. Ginger snap three. Down three. Jet Black will leave the ring. 10A on out of the ring. As you back into the ropes, the opponent shoves you out of the ring. The referee is so upset with such a flagrant rules violation. Opponent rules disqualification. All right. No DQ on Rogers. He rolls on level three. Seeing red plus two needs a five or better. Just barely gets out of that. There's my one. Okay. Ginger Rogers again on three. Another seeing red. So he needs a seven or better this time. Wait, no, six or better. That's it. But we got doubles. Seeing red on jet black. Okay. These guys are involved in a pretty intense feud here, so you will refer to Ginger Rogers on the feud table. So hopefully we roll something other than eight or nine, because we've gotten that every time. We've got a six. One of your allies stores the ring and you double team the opponent, leaving him battered and beaten in the ring. After you and your ally leave the ring, the opponent grabs a microphone. He challenges your ally to a match next week. Will he accept? So we will say that Raja Ring Royalty will hit the ring and attack Jet Black. And will they fight next week? Okay. So Raja attacks Jet Black after the match with the Ginger Rogers. I'll tell you what, the Knights of the Round Table are supposed to be the good guys of the Fed. They get involved in more post-match shenanigans than anybody. All right, speaking of the Knights of the Round Table, Eagle Richards of the Birds of Prey and Knights of the Round Table will be taking on Halloween Hank. Whoops. All right, rolling for initiative. The crowd does love shenanigans, Jibs Warrior. You are correct. It does make it fun to set stuff up that way. I like when people get hurt. All right, we got a tie. All right, Eagle Richards gets initiative. Drop kick two agility. It's both the same on both. Hurt two. Vertical suplex two, down three. Wings of the eagle plus two, and he's a six or better. That's it. Uh-oh. And we got snake eyes. So eagle Richards quickly defeats Halloween Hank with wings of the eagle. This is definitely a feud that's been going on. So here we go. Feud table. You refers to Eagle Richards. We've got a 12. That's probably going to be pretty brutal. 
You call your allies down to ringside. The group acts like a gang of street thugs beating the opponent down one by one with their finishing moves. So we'll say that the entire Knights of the Round Table come out. As medics attend to the fallen opponent, you and your allies destroy everything and everyone at ringside, including the ring crew, the announcers, and even the cameramen. You and your allies claim you are ready to take over. Roll one die for injury. Roll one die for suspension for you and your allies. Oh, boy. Let's see how long Halloween Hank is injured first. He's injured for one fight card, so they didn't hurt him too bad. So let me make note of that. Hank injured one card. And let's see how long the Knights will be suspended. Two cards. All right, so the Knights are just suspended for two cards. This is going to make things interesting next week on, on the stream. But that'll, Eagle Richards will be off suspension by the time he gets his title match. So Let's see, so it's, he's out for two weeks. Yeah, he'll be back because it's only the 15th. The event is on the 31st. So, yeah, he'll, he'll make it back just in time. Ugh. Tell you what, these Knights of the Round Table, they aren't very chivalrous. Falcon Parker's already out there. So, he's going to... Yeah, you're right. He'll be rested and fresh, Jibs Warrior. You are correct. So Lambert, Lambert has a tough match right here, but the, after his match, Falcon Parker is going to be suspended. Okay. This will be the final match of the stream, so let's see how this goes down. Dimensional champion Lambert will get the advantage and start initiative. Into the turnbuckle. That's a 9C on Into the Turnbuckle. Your opponent backs out of the corner and you rush towards them and use their momentum to throw them across the ring with an overhead suplex. So Lambert is on level 3. Choice H. Alright, let's see what that is. Go for, we'll throw him into the ropes. Five A on into the ropes. As the opponent barrels you into the rope, whoops, wrong chart. You and the opponent are clinched near the ropes. You sidestep to your opponent and use a quick leg sweep or a sneaky rabbit punch, depending on your style. Well, on level two offense, Falcon Parker's on level two. Backflip climber two agility. He gets gets the agility advantage. Lambert one. Shove into the ropes and chop two. Falcon Parker one. Hip toss one. Dazed one. Inverted head slam two. Power power goes to Lambert. He'll take over on two. Twisting bear hug three. Hurt two. Into the ropes. We'll roll up on one. Knee to the midsection two. Agility. Agility goes to Falcon Parker. He'll counter on two. Crushing Talon three. Hurt two. Inseguri three. Pin. Needs a four or better. And he kicks out. Gets a fatigue. Falcon Parker on three. Dive bomb prey three. Down three, out of the ring, he'll go up on two, Inseguri three, put two, into the turnbuckle, he'll go up to one, uh, inverted head slam two, Lambert takes over for power, choice E, 
off the running clothesline. It's going to go for the forearm uppercut on a 10 or less for level 2. Gets it. Hurt 2. Into the ropes. He'll go up to 1. Forearm club, 1. Dazed, 1. Wrist lock, 1. Falcon Parker, 2. Into the turnbuckle. He'll go up to 1. Inverted head slam for power goes to Lambert. Twisting Bear Hug 3, Hurt 2, Double Arm Sledge 2, Falcon Parker 1, Inverted Head Slam, Power Goes to Lambert, Twisting Bear Hug 3, Down 3, Falcon Parker is going to leave the ring, 6B on Out of the Ring, You tumble through the ropes to the floor, the opponent holds the ropes open for you to return to the ring in a good display of sportsmanship, opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Twisting Bear Hug 3, Hurt 2, Choice E, I forget what that was already. Uh, we're going to go for the Forearm Uppercut on a 10 or less for level 2. You got it. Down 3, Corner Splash 3, Choice H. Going to go into the ropes. 7A on Into the Ropes. The opponent backs into the ropes and you both break clean to the applause of the crowd. Roll for initiative. Initiative goes to Lambert on level two. Gorilla press slam three. Hurt two. Into the ropes. Uh, he'll go for it. Six A on into the ropes. The opponent backs into the ropes and you both break clean to the applause of the crowd. Roll for initiative. Initiative goes to Lambert on two. Choice E. Why can't I ever remember this one? We're gonna go for the we'll go for the ruling knee bar three on five or less this time. Doesn't get it. Falcon Parker's on two. Uh, choice A will throw him into the ropes. Five B on into the ropes. The opponent backs into the ropes and you both break clean to the applause of the crowd. Roll for initiative. Initiative goes to Lambert. Into the ropes. He'll go for it this time. Uh-oh. Four. Four. A. The opponent backs away from the ropes. Gives you time to secure a devastating crotch lift body slam. Roll on level three offense. Falcon Parker's on level three. Out of the ring, he's going to roll up on two. Crushing Talon three, hurt two. Crushing Talon three, hurt two. Crushing Talon three, hurt two. Backflip Climber two, hurt two. Uh, choice A, he's going to go into the ropes. Eight B on into the ropes. You and your opponent break clean as the opponent backs up. You step toward the opponent and he grabs you in a quick fireman's carry. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Head scissors take down two. Lambert one. Hard hip toss two. Agility. Agility goes to Falcon Parker. Head scissors take down two. Lambert one. Into the turnbuckle. That's a 5C on Into the Turnbuckle. The referee orders a clean break. The opponent backs off and you step out of the corner. The opponent steps to the side and grabs an outside single leg takedown. Opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Gorilla Press Slam 3. Down 3. Sidewalk Slam 2. Hurt 2. Into the ropes. Uh, he'll go for it. 9A on Into the Ropes. You and the opponent break clean. As the opponent backs up, you step towards the opponent. And he grabs you in a quick fireman's carry. Opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Gorilla Press Slam 3. Pin. He needs a 3 or better to kick out. 
She does with authority. Lambert on three. Spear from the second rope, three. Hurt two. Into the ropes. He's going to go for that. Uh-oh, 3A on into the ropes. You're back toward the ropes, but as the opponent steps towards you, you grab him in a dynamic upper body throw. You move into a quick cover. Opponent rolls pin. Lambert needs a five or better. He kicks out. He adds a fatigue. Falcon Parker on three. Out of the ring. He's going to go up on level two. Crushing Talon three. Hurt two. Into the turnbuckle. He's going to go up to one. Inverted head slam power. Lambert takes over for power. Choice E. It's going to go for the forearm uppercut on a 10 or less for two. Doesn't get it. Falcon Parker takes over on two. Head scissors take down two. Hurt two. Handspring elbow two. We're going to go with the, the ropes. Choice A, 5B on into the ropes. The opponent backs into the ropes and you both break clean to the applause of the crowd. Roll for initiative. Initiative goes to Falcon Parker. He's on two. Into the turnbuckle. He's going to roll up on one. Hip toss, one. Dazed, one. Pele kick, three. Hurt two. Into the turnbuckle. He's going to go back up to one. Back elbow one. Lambert two. Choice E. Forget that one. He's going to go for the forearm uppercut on a ten or less. He gets it for two. Hurt two. Scoop slam and stomp two. Falcon Parker one. Inverted head slam, power. Lambert takes over for power. Double arm sledge, two. Falcon Parker, one. Inverted head slam again. Lambert's taken over. Scoop slam and stomp, two. Falcon Parker, one. Inverted head slam. Lambert takes over for power. Into the ropes. He's going to do it. 7A on into the ropes. The opponent backs into the ropes, and you both break clean to the applause of the crowd. Roll for initiative. Initiative goes to Lambert on level two. Into the ropes again. 7A. Same thing. Roll for initiative. Falcon gets initiative on level two. Head scissors take down two. Hurt two. Backflip Climber 2, Lambert 1, uh, Need of the Midsection Agility, Falcon Parker takes over for Agility, Into the Turnbuckle, uh, he's going to go up to 1, Quick DDT, Lambert takes over on Power, Twisting Bear Hug 3, Down 3, Sidewalk Slam 2, Falcon Parker, one. Inverted head slam, power. Lambert takes over for power. Choice E. He's going to go for the big one on a five or less. He gets it for three. Down three. Lambert's on three. Sidewalk slam, two. Hurt, two. He's going to go for the five or less again. Gets it again for three. Hurt, two. Into the ropes. He's got to do it. 10A on into the ropes. You and your opponent break clean. As the opponent backs up, you step towards the opponent. And he grabs you in a quick fireman's carry. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Double arm sledge two. Hurt two. Scoop slam and stomp two. Down three. Out of the ring, he's going to do it. 10B on out of the ring. You collide violently with your opponent, sending you falling, you falling out of the ring. 
where you strike your head on the floor. Roll count out for better. Oh, we've got ourselves a count out after all that. Ouch. After hitting his head on the floor, Lambert wins the match via count out. All right. So a lot happened on this stream. Um, we lost the Knights of the Round Table for the next two weeks. So a lot of matches we made throughout the show are gonna have to be changed. Actually, no, but I think I think we're gonna be able to do them all. Let's go back and look at the notes here. Uh Pete and Hank won't be able to fight the birds of prey yet. So we might have to put that off till the after the super card, maybe. Yeah, everything else should go down. So let's see. Um, we made Pete Cottontail and Halloween Hank versus the Birds of Prey. The Birds of Prey are suspended and Hank is currently injured. So we'll have to put that one off. Pit Viper and Beordi will be taking on Lance Romance and Travis Deadly. And Raja will, was supposed to fight Jet Black, but he is suspended. So that match is going to be postponed. But we can put that one probably on the pay-per-view. Cool. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining to, here tonight. Really appreciate it. Jibs Warrior, thanks for leading the chat for us. KF Podcast, thanks for joining us tonight. Guy Atkinson, thanks again for joining us. We had a couple new people. Amish Elvis was here again with us tonight. And we had Dark Light BD here for the first time. So thanks, everybody, for joining us on the chat and for uh, following the, the stream. I really appreciate it. You know, share with your friends if you'd like. And uh, let's get some more people here. Our next goal is the Bed of Roses match. We are about 10 people away from unlocking that. Just like the Bruce card, once we hit the goal, I'll unleash the... Unleash. I'll uh, put out the link to the thread here in the chat or to the PDF. So watch for that. So thanks again, everybody. And here's what we have left to look forward to in the month of August. Thanks again, everybody. We'll see you next week.